Good afternoon and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for another walk around video. Today we're taking a closer look at this Dark Matter Ford Mustang Mach-E but before we do get started if you wouldn't mind please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and as it's Friday leave us a lovely comment below. Thank you very much. Again this is a grey matter Ford Mustang Mach-E premium extended range all-wheel drive. So this features the 98 kilowatt hour battery that's going to deliver you 293 miles on the WLTP scale. Using the kinetic energy recovery systems that could be anywhere up to 372 miles of range. We are registered on a 2022 registration so that means we'll take forward warranty with us until March 2025. The vehicle itself is just over 7,000 miles but like always we'll get the exact mileage once you're on the dash in a moment. So sit tight and let me take you around this lovely Dark Matter Mustang Mach-E. So like always, near side front, wake up the daytime runners and they're going to be flashing in your video simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But let me assure you, in real life, they look fantastic. So you've got the daytime running lamps with adaptive LED headlights just in the middle there. Below that is front parking sensors, complemented beautifully with a high definition front facing camera. They, that builds up to the 360 degree camera. So there's one at the front, one in both wing mirrors and one at the rear of the vehicle. Move around the front bumper now. Oh, I didn't talk about the active aero front grille. Very important when things get a bit hot. We can open up them flaps and let some nice cool air into the, uh, the radiator. Looking upwards into the dash before we do the 19 inch alloys, we've got a sensor there for the, uh, that's the light sensor, so when it gets dark, the lights come on. <laughs> Up there we have another one for the traffic speed sign recognition, and another one there, I think that is auto headlights up there as well, don't quite know that. Coming down back to earth now, we have some beautiful 19 inch machine cut alloy wheels, and they have the red brake calipers on them as standard. Moving along the vehicle now, we can see the Mach-E 4X, which is signifying it is the dual motor Mustang Mach-E. This vehicle has fitted the driver assistance pack and things such as blind spot assist on both wing mirrors. As long as you have a blind spot, you'll get a little orange LED to let you know it's unsafe to pull in or out. So going to lock the vehicle using the key and go to half zoom and I'm going to demonstrate keyless entry. So, click that button there. It unlocks and pops the door open. Go to shut the door, click on the padlock, go on the padlock like so, it will then lock the door. Power folding and heated door mirrors. I don't know if I said that. Anyway, so this grey dark matter colour looks beautiful, it really does. So what we're going to do is we've come to the rear of the vehicle and we're going to show you a bit of the bodywork. So let me get back onto normal zoom and we use the sun to our advantage and I'm going to shimmy my way down the vehicle showing you just how lovely every panel is then link that round lovely to the offside rear wheel at the back of the vehicle we have rear parking sensors twinned with a reversing camera just above the pony there as well it must be one of the most high definition cameras i've seen on a vehicle in reverse it is glorious and on that 15.5 inch touchscreen it looks the business at the near side now, so we're going to do the exact same, so we're going to start nice and high and we're going to shimmy our way down and hopefully give you a good understanding of all the lovely body, body panels. Link that to the near side rear wheel and we'll follow that all the way down to the near side front wheel. On the near side front wing is where the vehicle is charged from. Um, if you need any uh, uh, questions answered about charging, charging times and everything else, please do give us a call 01376 550 8119. We'll explain everything you need to know. Just quickly though, this section here is called a Type 2 connector. AC charging, and this is typically the ones you'll be using at home. So you can either use the 3 pin plug in that socket or the 7 kilowatt home charger in there as well. If you're out in public, you'll use this whole section, which is referred to as CSS charging, DC, and that can support up to the 150 kilowatt an hour chargers. Um, for charging times and specifications, I shall leave that all in the description below. This being a premium Mac E, we have a power tailgate, so that opens up beautifully like so. We do also have the function on the left hand side of the tailgate to wave your foot underneath the bumper 
and that will open and shut it as well. I'm not that brave, um, as we're five minutes into a video, I'm not that brave to do it now, but um, I'll try and demonstrate it at a later date. The vehicle comes supplied with two lovely chargers. So this one is a creeping plug charger that goes straight into any domestic socket and that will charge the vehicle quite slowly indeed. If you're in a hurry, I'd recommend getting the pod installed at home and you've got a type two charger supplied with a vehicle as standard. So you get two chargers with the vehicle, whichever meets your requirements. Uh, if, again, if you need any help with charging or any recommendations for points, please do just give us a call. We can help you out with everything you need to get yourself charged up. So that's inside the boot. It's a very large volume boot as well, actually. I mean, if you uh, compare this to the Mustangs, the V8 Mustangs of yesteryear, um, massive. Um, two big dogs in there, not a problem. It's a car for every day. So we're gonna shut up the power tailgate and we're going to have a look inside now. So, back to the offside rear. Click on the button, door opens. Love that. So, we have the beautiful leather interior with the red stitching defining it all. If we turn that around, we can see the perforated leather. So, you've got nice holes in it, so very breathable, very durable, and robust. We have an ISO fixing point on the right hand rear and on the left hand rear seat. This has the technology pack, so that includes the uprated BNO sound system with soundbar in the dash. Just down there, I uh, might as well show you quickly, two air conditioning vents. We have a USB-C, which is 5 amp charging, and we also have a USB-A, which is about 2.1 amp charging. So the rear passengers are going to be kept nicely charged on those longer journeys. Let's open up the front door now, and let's show you around. So we have... Four electric windows and mirror controls on the door card there. Again, another BNO sound uh, speaker and a three-way memory function on the door card also. We pan the camera around now. We can see the driver's seat. And again, it's in really good condition leather, perforated all the way down. These front seats are eight-way adjustable and also heated as well. So very nice seats indeed. I'm just gonna jump inside the vehicle. You might hear a bit of distortion on my microphone. So just bear with me for a second. Vehicle. click on the power start stop button and power the vehicle up so let's digest the screen to begin with so this is a landscape orientated screen and this basically just displays all of your essential information so it's not overly cluttered if I give you a quick breakdown on the left hand side we have the range and the percentage of the battery uh, so at the moment 55% of battery is giving you 173 miles of range below that is an ambient air temperature sensor Yes, it is very warm. And in the middle is where you'll find all of your adaptive cruise control uh, display. So adaptive cruise control is on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. If I can just focus on that, so it's nice and easy to either set your limiter, set your speed, and set the distance to the vehicle in front. And that bottom one there is lane centering, so it'll keep you in the center of the lane. So it's not an autopilot system, but you know, it's as good as. But that's gonna reduce fatigue on those longer journeys. Back to the screen, uh, we have a ready sign to let you know the high voltage battery is connected and good to go. And miles per hour, so that's a digital speedo. And the bottom there we have the odometer. So this vehicle has done 7,472.7 miles. And to the furthest right, we have a gear selector indicator. Let's just zoom out quickly and show you around the steering wheel once again. Left hand side, adaptive cruise control. And the right hand side is where you'll find all your media controls. So you have a previous and next song. We have a volume up and down, a voice command, and a pick up and decline phone call. Beautiful. Right, go on in, you all wanna see it. So here it is. This is the 15.5 inch touch screen monitor. Uh, probably the uh, the main point on a Mustang these days. Everyone wants to see it, everyone wants to know how it works. So let me give you a quick demo. So if we start off with the car settings, which can be found on the top right hand side of the screen, I should probably change hand for the camera here. Uh, see all your car settings are there so on the bottom menu as you can see we have whisper active untamed at the bottom for additional settings we've got one pedal driving we have an ambient light section and a propulsion sound putting it under untamed and that is going to get the maximum out of the accelerating drive machine and road aligner as one so uh, if you fancy a bit of that untamed for you uh, active balance drive fun and engaging a whisper it's going to quiet and every seamless drive quiet and or calm and quiet so that's that i'll show you the camera on this one so we can see out the front camera like so 
which is going to give you that display and also gives you the bird's eye view display there as well um, whilst one copy of cameras there is the reversing camera I wasn't lying it's a very high definition camera okay so back out of there now uh, let's talk quickly about parking this vehicle has active Ford Park Assist so that it will quite literally get you in to either a parallel park in a bay park in or a parallel park out so using the indicators to dictate which side of the road you'll be parking on the front and rear parking sensors will find the gap for you and ensure you can fit in there and once it's found it take your hands off the steering wheel follow the instructions on the screen and uh, yeah it's there uh, it's not magic but it might as well be so that's the Ford Active Park Assist down there as well we have driver assistance so I briefly mentioned brief, briefly mentioned this earlier and um, so we have tons of software on this for driver assistance and that includes things such as auto hold cruise control speed limit assist lane keeping system pre-collision assist rear view, rear view camera delay blind spot assist wrong way alert cross traffic alert reverse brake assist and driver alert so you've got tons of software on there keeping you nice and safe so let's exit the car settings now. These six dots at the top of the screen. Sorry, I forgot to get the camera in shot. It's so big. Uh, six dots at the top, and it pulls down all of the little widgets to navigate through all of your essential uh, bits and bobs. So your, all your radio is on there. Let me turn that down before I have a copyright case on my hands again. I'm sorry, I'm not going to court. Heart 70s there, beautiful. Uh, Barry Manilow, what a guy. Uh, so this is your radio display, if you like. Uh, click on the, the six dots again and you can go into your phone so this is your bluetooth connectivity but this screen is fully supportive of apple carplay and android auto so whichever software you have on your phone plug it in using a usb data cable or with this mac e you can also do wireless carplay oh no very fancy indeed and uh, once uh, your phone's connected you can take advantage of all the software on your phone such as navigation podcasts audiobooks anything like that but my favorite one is your voice assistant so you can click on siri you can click on the google assistant and keep your hands off your phone whilst you're driving essential in today's world um, apart from that we have your navigation on there i don't think i've seen a navigation look so crisp and be so user friendly you can just simply pinch it a bit like a phone you can move it around and it's just so responsive it really is a fantastic navigation to use so that's a bit about the screen there. Um, I've covered lots of things about it, but I won't cover everything. We'll be here quite literally all day. Before I finish the screen, obviously all of your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls are found on there as well. And it's nice and simple. So you can just tap where you want it, and it will uh, change the vent. So if you want to hit your feet, just click feet. And obviously different uh, settings up there as well. So that's the screen. Um, fantastic i've loved getting to, used to this um, i suppose with a bit more experience i'll be whizzing around there in no time uh, i mentioned earlier we have the bno soundbar and that runs all the way across the dashboard one of the best sound systems in the business it really is impressive um, to keep your phone nicely charged up we have another usb c we have a usb a and we also have a wireless charging pad so if you're using the wireless carplay function i'd recommend putting your phone on the wireless charging pad then uh, your phone will be nice and charged when you get to your destination. Two adjustable cup holders, and we have the rotary gear selector. So foot on the brake, and that unlocks it, and you can spin it round to your relevant drive position. And that is also twinned with the electronic handbrake. You won't be using that very often, because as soon as you put it in drive, it cancels automatically. So that's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll speak to you soon.